a crabby bow, a bending fiberglass bow from Nomai Rajari. So you might want to ask, so what's the deal? This is the deal, look at this. It's a new version. But what is different? Besides that this one is painted and this one has leather. But what's the big difference you want to know? This is the big difference. But is it any good? Let's find out. So, good morning dear string fellows and today as said we talk about the takedown version of the Krabby bow from No Meyer Archery. You get the bow, the string and a little documentation, bow warranty conditions, Kato warranty card and I can't read but you get and there's even unwritten down there the technical the model is the Krabby takedown in paint. 10 date. Oh, and my name. Oh. Say my name, say my name. No one is. Here. Okay, okay, it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, so now you want to ask, might want to ask, why? Why do we need a takedown? Just because we can. So, this is the normal version of the Krabby bow. As we know it with leather, bending fiberglass, I need a review, I like this bow. The only thing I never liked is that it does only 28 inches, but it is what it is. And now we get the new version. And look at this, how well this is made. We have here a hexagon metal rod and a pin that it's a double security, so to say. Look at this. Chuck joint forces yeah the cutout is not the cleanest but it's fine look where you push it together and it's rock solid there is almost no wiggle no play really nice is it different than the old one no besides a few small you know that it's painted not leather and that we have a little more whipping around it at the ends and on the bend and the whipping around the handle is a little longer and the handle wrap is of course a little different you can't do this wrap and then cut it open to make a takedown version let's see oh this is the upper part last time people ask me how do you know what is the upper part or the lower part of a uh, horse bow most horsebows have kind of an arrow shelf, arrow pass made, so either with this inlays or here with this extra leather. So this is one way to know it. And if there would not be this piece, you still can check if there's a writing on your bow. And when you find the writing on your bow, then it's always that you can read it upside, uh, the, the upper upside. And not like this, obviously. So this would be then the upper limb. Just, you know. So let's string the old one. 
This bending fiberglass technique is really something very interesting. Oh, yeah, my bones crack. Good, check, check. So, the normal Krabby as we know it. And here we go. That take done. As we not, not know it, but as we will see now. A nice string. And again, the upper part, we have here this leather pass for the, for the as an arrow pass. And there's a description and it's a 41 pound, a little more than this one. Nice. Good. And the black string this time. So stringing of the take down version is the same way as a normal one. We have these nice big string bridges. Simply make sure the string is in <laughs> and then you're done. Look at this. Solid. And now nothing is wiggling anymore. Does it look different? Nope. It's a complete normal Krabby bow as we know it. Bending fiberglass. All the same. Everything here the same. I wish we could make the arrow pastel a little smaller, but but in all ways the same bow. We only have now a different handle wrap because of the takedown. And the handle grew a little compared to the old one. Yes, so this one is was a little small for me and this one is now just almost a bit beefy. It's a bit edgy on front, so it might be good for torque, but we will find out later. So let's put the old one beside. Let's talk about the technical stuff. It's from Numayer Archie, the Krabby Takedown. It's a crab bow or Mughal or something, they, uh, their interpretation of it. Bending fiberglass. The length strung is 105 centimeters, 41.3 inches. Unstrung 124 centimeters, 48.8 inches. The string has 101 centimeters, 39.8 inches. And the brace height is plus minus 15 centimeters, which is 5.9 inches. Then this one is now 41 pound. And you can have this bow in 30 or 40 pounds roughly. And then the max draw is 28. And we have no recommendation of arrow weight. The materials are fiberglass, wood, fiber carbone, and buffalo horn. The price of this bow is 115 US dollars. And if you want the paint on it, $10 more than had this bow is 125 US dollars. You get for this price a small take down reflex bow in bending fiberglass which is already insane what we get here oopsie now you need to make sure that you don't add half an inch because the handle goes opens up 48 and he said 48.8 yeah it's fine so 48 from knock to knock and we have an arrow pass yes of course we have an arrow pass of 30. So this is Korean style. But even the brace head is Korean style. So if you can shoot a Korean bow, you can shoot this bow. So now I need to string it again. That's what you get. And usually the longer one is the bottom one, but they are the same. Nice. So thank you, Numa Archery, for sending this bow to me. Of course, the benefit of having it now take them because from Indonesia shipping is now be became drastically more expensive in these times we have. And the normal boat to ship is now really quite expensive. So take down version makes sense. It was now $50 or something shipping instead of I think 80, 80 or so. So you don't pay more for the take down version, but you save shipping costs and you can pack it down in a smaller package. Pack. Still early, it's still early in kilograms. So, how heavy is it? 450, and the old one was 370. So, we have 80 grams for the takedown construction. Not a big deal for me. So you can turn off. So the old one. Yeah, let's look at this easy 28. Nice, was nice. And this is a 30 
eight pounds or they're always roughly then either 30 or 40 pounds and this is the new one center serving is nice and long handle bigger <laughs> nice look at this how this boat draws so i guess it does a little more than 28 and this is 28 29 no stacking whatsoever here it's flexible but not wiggly and in this direction it's relatively stiff so there's nothing to complain so you don't feel that there's a takedown version only the gap is now not really closing completely so we might can refine this a little bit but doesn't stop you from shooting i guess speaking of which let's do it first the old crabby one center shot they are really nice to shoot and if 28 inches is enough for you <laughs> short snappy <laughs> nice first shot of the new one so handle needs a bit until I get used to it now but only when you shoot it in direct comparison oh, look at this nice So there's not a lot going on you hear it a little it might go away and it translates a little in the handle but nothing serious and if you want to see not too bad and it might be that these arrows are 600 spine maybe a little under spined for a 41 pound bow but we see now we shoot now 28 meters Okay, still to the right, but quite powerful. Yeah, see, it takes a few shots. Ooh, <laughs> probably. Torque. Few shots, you're there. Let's see what we get. Twenty eight is here. Thirty eight point two. So this is twenty eight. Look at these curves. It's incredible. Of course, we are already a little beyond the string angle of 20, uh, 60 degrees, so 26. Huh? Yep, see, 26, it's for a short bow like this. Not too bad at all. So this is 28 again. Whoop. And then you would see it would do 29, but then it really gets stiff because the limbs go in, you almost can draw 30 inches with this, but then the limbs turn inwards and then it might be a little too much. Look, you have you still a little gap here. Maybe we can do this a bit better. And the whipping looks very good. And the red, matter of taste. And whipping here for decoration and safety. The whipping here, which is then painted black. You have this nice big string bridges, small sears, and you see here the bending fiberglass coming up all the way. Handle is otherwise good the seam is nice this is how Numair crafts the bow so it's nothing overly high polished stuff it's you know it's something working and it does such I think we never did a speed test with the original Krabby only with the horn version where you have this strip of horn inside the hybrid but now we do a speed test with this one <clears throat> 41 pounds and the arrows are 320 grain I think 
175, you get the point. 179. <laughs> so, a really nice bow. 163. And now I know what the bow is doing, so now we are one. And 170, 80 foot per second. Oops, the left one. Whoops. <laughs> shooting. Of course, it's a short bow, has a nice handle. What you can do is look at this easy peasy, really easy, and three fingers. Oh, goes into the left, obviously. But a few shots, then you have it. Not a big thing. No problem. This way around, if you want to hold the arrows on your bow hand, yeah, it's, it's doable, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's usual, always a little more fiddly. So you yeah, best hold them like here, I don't know, kind of like this. I said it's doable, but maybe not the best version. Nice, a fun shooter. Draws nice, I shoot 29 inches now with it. And there's nothing, so you hear it, but you don't feel it anymore. I mean, that bit. One, two, three, <laughs> nothing. Really, really well made. But of course, I hear you complaining. It's a short bow. What's the purpose of having it take down when the arrows are then already significantly longer and you can't pack it away in a very small form factor? Well, guys, I get you covered. Then you simply get one of these takedown arrows. Look at this. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> First, we need to put the middle part in. And then the tip part on it. See? Now I have a full-fledged, it's a little shorter than the normal one. But, you know what I mean? You get the point to string the bow. Do I string it upside down? Yeah, okay. I think it doesn't matter. So stringing, unstringing, easy. So, then you have it. And then look what you can do with this arrow, with a takedown arrow. <laughs> Boom. And just in case you want the arrow longer, you take one more of these center pieces. And now you have a, see? 29 inches, 32 inches. But then of course it gets a little weak. You have three connections and one directly in the middle, which is not so beneficial, but it might still work, right? Yeah, it still works, but <laughs> And that's all for the takedown Krabby Bow by Nomai Archery. Feels good, I like the handle. There's so totally nothing to complain about this bow. Just works and draws 29 inches, which don't tell anyone. 
You get a bow, a string and this documentation. These are four points. Handling of this bow, it's easy to connect, it's very easy to string and this bow is simply straight so you have nothing to worry. So this is really a tool so that works fine. Handling 10. The build overall is very nice. It's a bit rough looking but we know this from Numair and this is kind of what he is doing. Simply here the seam could be a little nicer and when the bow is strung you know the, the, the connection here you see it I don't know how you could change it but you see that it's I mean in the moment you hold the bow you don't see it anymore but it's there and sometimes you have a little gap here but it's okay but I give you nine points for that so build quality nine the basic feel of this bow it just feels nice in your hand a bit weight here only for the sear, so not a lot. That's why it's quite well performing. The bow is not wiggly and, and even in this direction, a bit you see it, but you, you saw that I did torque with it and this bow didn't even mind. So for this, you can shoot everything with this bow, what you want, basic field 10. The draw experience was out of the box directly. Nice, and then you get easy to 29 nothing to complain here either draw experience really nice 10 shooting experience it takes a few shots that you get the hang of it because it's you know a narrow uh, brace height and a wide arrow pass needs a little that your body adapts to it but a few shots and then you know what this bow is doing so it might take a few practice shots and maybe a little stiffer spine arrows when you shoot some release because it's yeah that's me so for this shooting experience just fine it doesn't vibrate hand shock is not existing i mean it vibrates a little but you it doesn't translate into the handle so it's really nice made nothing to complain here either 10. and then the price oh, 115 dollars the one with leather and 10 dollars more so 125 for the painted version, of course, you can ask for different colors, I suppose. And for shipping this time, I paid something about $50 and then a little custom. So this is your under $200. And you have a really short take down bow, bending fiberglass, looking good, well performing. Gives, uh, oh, I didn't count them, 40, 53, and a 5 for price value. It's just a small, incredible bow. So thank you very much, Numai Archery, for sending the bow to me. So I could test it, and it was interesting to see how everybody does now the takedown version. So this one just works fine, and the handle is now in a size which just works for me. So now I can do everything with this bow. I like this bow a lot. Nothing more to say. Get one. If you want a very short, small takedown, I wish no matter that we would make here the other arrow pass if it's possible still in this, I don't know how you call it, guitar shape or whatever, that it's a bit more narrow. Would be for me nicer, but for the rest, this boat just works fine. And speed wise, 160, 170 foot per second. F fine by me, I mean, for the price and what you get, just nice. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.